looked like number 30 had some fresh legs, or uh, what did you just make of that performance? Uh, I mean, what can you say? The guy goes 10 for 13 after not playing in an NBA game for a month. And even, you know, the other team went 15 for 21. Even they were hot, Javis, just because Steph was in the building. Steph makes everybody shoot better, I think. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but that was remarkable. I mean, just um, to do what he did in 25 minutes, um, to come out the way he did, it looked like um, he, you know, he didn't skip a beat. And uh, that's hard to play, you know, in a, in a game when you, haven't, when you haven't played in a game for a month and all you've played basically is three on three. And, um, but he just makes it look so easy, and you can feel it in the building. Everything's different. Tempo, the energy, the crowd's uh, going nuts, and Steph is uh, he's special. Steve, there was a moment in the third quarter timeout, I believe it was, when he was standing right in there with you coaches. Yeah. Um, what was the exchange like there? I, I'm guessing he wanted to keep playing. Yeah, he wanted to keep playing, and he was hot, and, and I, you know, I was fighting my uh, – my instinct, uh, my instinct was to get him out. You know, I, we t we talked about playing him in six or seven minute burst, but um, I called the training staff over and I said, "He's pleading his case. Are we okay to leave him out there?" And they said, "Yeah, give him give him another couple minutes." And I was hoping we wouldn't have to put him back in the game, um, but we did because uh, Memphis played well and stayed with us, and um, so we gave him those last few minutes in the fourth. But he definitely talked me into leaving him out there for a few minutes. Um, Coach, I just wanted to ask about uh, the Draymond injection. What did you see in that three-minute span? Um, you know, you got the tech first and then the second one after that. Um, I don't know. It was, everything happened at the far end of the floor. On the second one, all I saw was he waved his hand. Um, I don't know what he said. It didn't look like it warranted an injection, but I was, you know, 100 feet away, so it's hard for me to, to really uh, – uh, tell you what happened, but it, it seemed like a quick trigger. Steph played eight minutes in that first quarter run. Was that the extent of what you want? Was it a little more than you were looking to go? And, and how did you yeah. think his wind was? In, in Slightly this? more, but you know, there, it wasn't like there was anything with his ankle that was um, keeping him from playing longer. It was um, just his wind. Um, I was most concerned about him getting a little bit tired and then maybe compensating um, and something else, you know, uh, you know, pulls a muscle or something. So I, I just um, – it, it wasn't a hard minute number that we were looking at. It was more tell us how you feel, we'll, we'll see how you look. So it, we went a little bit beyond what we expected to, but there wasn't any risk involved because he's, you know, he's healthy. Hey, Steve, uh, obviously there's a lot of time between now and Wednesday's game in Dallas, so – what are you and, and the training staff kind of monitoring to determine whether Steph can increase his minutes for the next go round? Uh, I guess just his pain, pain and um, swelling, and if we'll see if there's any of that uh, tomorrow, and um, just just basic basic stuff. But um, I think it's good for him to have the the rest, and uh, he'll probably be a little sore tomorrow. Um, not, I'm not talking about his ankle; I'm just talking about his body because he's you know this is. Uh, First time again in, in, that he's played in a month. So we'll see how he recovers. But I like the way the schedule pans out and that gives him some time. You talked a little bit about what Steph brings to this team. Um, does he bring something different to this league than anybody else in the NBA does? He brings something different um, than anybody ever has, to be honest with you. Um, there's been plenty of guys who dominate the game um, in different ways. Um, you think of Shaq or you know, overpowering people or Michael Jordan um, combination of power and skill and uh, tenacity. And, but nobody's ever uh, tilted the floor like Steph does um, at such a deep range um, and with such incredible ball handling skills. Um, so it's, uh, it's crazy what, what he does to the defense. Um, you know, as a coach, you try to come up with a scheme to force the ball into certain areas and shrink the floor, and you got all these expressions that coaches use. And Steph kind of blows all that stuff out of the water. Um, schemes kind of go go awry when Steph's on the floor because it's hard to account for 35 feet of perimeter space rather than 25 like most people. I don't remember anybody ever impacting the game the way that 
Steph does um, in that regard. And then you add just the entertainment value. You could hear the building tonight and, and um, you know, everything, everything just looks better. The food in there is going to taste better tonight. <laughs> My wife's going to be even better looking than she already is. Uh, my kids are going to be happy. It's Steph just, you know, he has that impact. Uh, you know, it's just it's the way it is. It's he's he's a franchise player for a reason, and it's uh, it goes, you know, on on and off the court. And what he does for this franchise is just crazy.